the stars they faded Cause they don't wanna see what we've done And who could blame them Who wanna shine their light on us Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Yoma Blood. Uh, before we start, this is not Ash Prime, of course. It's just my thoughts and what will be uh, the next Prime. Seeing all the potential that Ash has, this is the build that I have for him. I have him for my nothing, everything staple. If I would, I would put a D and maybe try to fit natural talent for... Uh, Speeding up my, my casting of the stealth. I really like the stealth of Ash. I like it more than Loki. Because the main problem that I have with Loki is when I'm trying to cast stealth. I get swarmed by enemies and kill anyways. But Ash, he has like a stun. That lets you escape from enemies. Get in position. Attack from, from the stealth. Maybe crib with your melee. Or just stay away. It's really good. This is the build. It's really simple. As you guys can see, I'm using the Augmented Mod Seeking Shuriken. This is what makes Ash awesome in my opinion. With uh, Blind Rage, two from the top, you have more than what you need to lower 100% of your enemy's armor. This will give you the chance to take down heavy units like the Bombers and the Heavy Armor, the Heavy Gunners. You will take them down super easy, super fast, you will help your team a lot. Ash has become a really useful frame for late game if you know how to use it but beware as Loki Nova and all those glass cannon frames he's really fragile he will die on a heartbeat as soon as you make the first mistake as soon as you don't cast your stealth in the moment that you should you'll be dead enemies they will hit you pretty hard and you don't have numbers to take down all that damage so just keep that in mind going back to the build I have uh, prime continuity to counter rest all that uh, fleeting expertise because you really want all that efficiency you want to be casting your, your your abilities for really low cost so you want to you want max efficiency blind rage will give you damage you, you're gonna have some range with stretch. There goes the uh, Augmented Mod. And then Prime Flow. And Redirection is gonna be your Defensive Mod. I was thinking this morning and maybe putting Quick Thinking as Defensive Mod and maybe Rage. But that will make you form the build. And like I said, in my opinion, this is gonna be the next Prime. So I don't wanna spend any of my formers on them. If when they release the next Prime, it's not Ash, uh, I will probably form this build. I'm enjoying him a lot. He's really useful. Again, he'll be doing some insane numbers. I like to play him with a uh, bow. I have my Dread and Paris Prime. They have the same build. They form uh, five times each. My secondaries, um, most all the time, I use uh, Hiko Prime. And my mellow weapon, of course, is Darker Prime with Crimson Dervish. Like I said, this is not my definite build with Ash. I just don't want to maximize him yet. I'm waiting for Update 16 to drop here and to see which is the new Prime. Really hoping that it's him. He has a really good uh, potential, a lot of potential. With the new Prime, if they increase his stats and maybe add some polarities, that, that will be really good. That will help him a lot. We're gonna start seeing a lot more Ash if that happens. But again, guys, uh, hope you enjoy. I'm gonna leave you with some gameplay. Um, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment what you would like to see next, some suggestions. And, well, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>